3XY Supercross International for 1982. And uh, Neil Crompton's back with us up here. This is Ken Dobson, both uh, Neil and myself. We'll be sharing the action here in this one, the first. And let's hope that we know too well it won't be the last of the 3XY Supercross International for 1982 with three visiting American riders, all of Australia's tops. We've read the field out to you. Neil has given interviews with some of the uh, top contenders there. It's going to be 25 laps of long, hard and real top supercross action here at Olympic Park. Over the jumps, over the whoop de doos around the berms and over the, uh, the quads. That's the way they'll be going. They're in the starter's hands. The sign hasn't been given for engine starting yet, but it won't be long because very shortly we'll be able to say to them, gentlemen, start your engines. But last minute, feverish activity there with mechanics just doing final uh, alterations if necessary, if they've got time, a final pat on the back, good luck, and uh, very nice shortly there, we'll be seeing them go for their 25 laps of real fast supercross racing on this track that they've all had plenty of uh, opportunity throughout this evening's activity here to uh, find out the smoothest way around, if that's possible. I don't think there is. There's no such thing as a smooth way around a supercross race. We want to let you uh, uh, say, we want to hear the biggest yell ever from Olympic Park go when they away, go away from that uh, starting grid. And in a moment, the engine's very quiet. Let's all keep quiet there and just watch and wait. Cameras are all trained there. All of the press are here. Motorcycle News too, don't forget the big report next week on uh, Australian Motorcycle News on this night's activity here. And boy oh boy, we're going to see the sparks flying, the elbows and the, uh, the knees and the footrests and the handlebars touching, particularly on that first corner. If ever there was butterflies fluttering, now is the time they're doing it. The riders all at the ready, mechanics leaving the starting line. Just about ready. There's Chuck Sun, number 10 from the USA. Giving a big screw of the throttle there. There goes the smoke, the engines have started. One or two temperamental machines there. Riders giving the extra kick to make sure that uh, she goes properly. I don't think I'll make any predictions in this one, but certainly after tonight's activity with the qualifying heats, Chuck Sun has got to be the hot favourite. But don't forget Marty Motes. Marty Motes and of course Goat Brecker from USA and our own top Australian stars. Stephen Gall, Trevor Williams, Anthony Gunter, Ray Vandenberg and so many others. The smoke rising in the air, but just about ready. Give them a big cheer, wave your handkerchief, your handbag if you've got one, ladies. The program that we hope you've all got to take home as a souvenir of this one. We want to see Olympic Park explode when this takes off. This is a good one. Almost ready. All the engines have started. One hand up, I think, yes. No, everybody's hand is down. The one minute board is out, and now the seconds tick slowly off. 59 seconds, 55, 50. Probably now with 35 seconds at this stage. We didn't uh, put our stopwatch on that, but it's not far away. Here the engine revs building up. Keep your eyes on them. Just about ready. The board will uh, be reversed and it says in gear. The one minute sign, still there. How long is a second? It's a long while when you're sitting on the starting grid.
Australian superstar Jeff Leask on bike number two, the YZ250J, and then further back in third place at this stage, we have number 35 on the Honda. Great supercross action, and here comes Jeffrey Leask as he nudges the Yamaha into the lead and takes over just briefly. That's Team Australia all the way. Jeff Leask, bike number two, Martin O'Connor, letter in Honda. Up towards the Yamaha starter bumps, and it's Jeffrey Leask, the 18 year old wonder boy from Western Australia who takes the lead on the Yamaha displacing American rider Marty Motes on the Honda. Power on all the way in these furious 250cc machines and up goes the crowd as they come down the main straight once again and a determined Jeffrey Lease leads this event at this stage as they complete their seventh lap out of 25. Jeffrey Lease, number two, on the Yamaha, white in colour, red, white and blue gear, Marty Motes hot in pursuit around about 10 to 15 lengths further back. Further back once again then to number one. Jeffrey Leask is absolutely on fire. Flying through the field. 
Why is it you could be Jay Yamaha on that occasion stepping out pretty nastily on him, but the youngster with the experience up his belt already at the tender age of 18 snaps it back into line. Punishes the Yamaha as he shoots down the main straight and cracks another great fistful of gas once again. Marty Moat still in second place on the Honda, not letting the youngster get too far away. Still a fairly long gap back to our next man, number one, Robert Beetle Bailey from New South Wales, Cessnock in New South Wales. He's being followed by American Chuck Sun in fourth place, and then a fairly large gap back once again to Trevor Williams on bike number six. Back to our leader once again, Jeff Leitz, number two, Fremantle in Western Australia. Three-time world mini bike champion, 1981 Australian 125cc motocross champion. Bike again on that occasion, stepping fairly nastily sideways on Jeff Lees. YZ250J handling superbly. Jeff Four, 1982, now joins the Yamaha Toshiba Zeela team. Running for Nippon Densa and Stolen Rat Shirts, and it's a big contract for Jeffrey Lees for 1982. Partnership with Stephen Gould, Australia's top motocross rider, and at the moment all hopes are pinned on this man here, number two, Jeff Lees, because Marty Motes puts the pressure on as they hit down towards the front once again, and Motes sneaks back into the lead. It's wheel to wheel action, and Motes has the inside running for the corner. There's a slow rider mixed in between them, and it's Motes from the States who comes out the victory. Back comes Jeff Lees once again. Oh boy, this is. Supercross at its absolute best for the 3XY International Supercross Cup Final and it's Jeff Lees and Marty Motes, the two top riders that we're watching as they do incredible battle around this Olympic Park Supercross course. Back onto the main straight once again and up goes the big chief Australian rider Jeff Lees from the Yamaha. Marty Motes still in second place on the Honda and this is fantastic motor racing. Further back to third place and it's a great battle between Robert Beetle Bailey and fourth place Chuck Sun. And then a long gap once again back to Trevor Williams on bike number six for Kawasaki and the rest of the are going through out of it. Up to the back straight again, Swan Insurance, our leader, number two, Jeff Lees. Being followed by Marty Motes from the States, led at him on the Honda. A classic Yamaha versus Honda battle. Youth and experience mixed in between these two riders. It's going to be very interesting to see who can come out the victor. Ten and a half laps down, and it looks like uh, Chuck Sun on that occasion in stride. The end of this lap, passing back once again to Ken Dalton with another lap completed. Jeffrey Lee's got bike number two, the Yamaha has the lead, followed by Marty Motes on the Honda in second place, and our third place man at this stage is still Robert Beetle Bailey. Well, we can't keep our eyes on that uh, super battle now between uh, Marty Motes and uh, young Jeff Lee from Western Australia. Jeff, uh, as we've mentioned, has done his uh, term of apprenticeship in the USA uh, some years ago in the mini bike scene and then graduating, of course, as he got older to the bigger machines. And what is he doing to Marty Motes? Absolutely uh, keeping the, the old master at bay. Uh, but uh, Marty Motes is no fool either, and he's probably using a little bit of uh, up there for digging and down there for dancing or down there for motocrossing and uh, just keeping an eye, uh, a very close eye indeed, on Jeff Lees. Because Jeff Lees, uh, if he can split up this rider, for instance, there's another competitor coming into it. If he can split him up, he might just get that go to increase his lead just a little bit more, just the way he wants it. A very experienced young man indeed. And Marty Most is probably, uh, well, should we say, learning something? But we maybe shouldn't say that because Marty is learning a lot and always has. And Jeff Lees is the boy to watch in this Super Cross for 1982. What a ripper. Melbourne exploding at Olympic Park here in April 1982 for this. Marty Motes uh, from Jeff Lees and left Jeff Lees from Marty Motes. The rest of the field seem to have disappeared from our sights. We can't keep our eyes off them. Look at it, Marty Motes right in front there, uh, or just in front uh, of, of uh, Jeff Lees from Western Australia. Around they go again and lapping riders at an incredible pace. 13 laps are down now, 13 down. This is the lucky one as far as Jeff Lees is concerned. He's really been lucky. He's going to try again. Out of 25 laps, 13 laps down, over the halfway stage. And what a struggle they're having. What a battle. The rest of the field having their own private battles, but it's nothing compared with Marty Motes and Jeff Lees. Action right through. There's no doubts about it. The experience of that of the international riders uh, washing off onto our uh, local competitors. Number two just moving past there too. Uh, number two is uh, Jeff Leesk, of course, and he's the one to keep your eye on. Where are they going now? Around the uh, the 3XY tower. Jeff Leesk from WA. 
All the sand drivers will be happy about this one. And uh, the USA fans will be going wild for Marty Noakes because he's been pressured by a young teenager from uh, Western Australia. And he's keeping the master, Marty, Marty Noakes, uh, really honest in this one. Round they go again. Can't keep their eyes off them. But as I mentioned, there's uh, so much action going on right through the field. Look at the way that Marty Noakes takes those uh, on the quad jumps. Experience plus, and look at the way that Jeff Leese takes them as well, because there's the apprentice learning from the master. And uh, even early on in this race, we've seen the apprentice leading the master and saying, well, it's my turn now. With uh, the closing stages of the race still yet to come, we might even see the young uh, rocket from Western Australia come through and do something to uh, Tamati that he's never had done before. What sort of a future has uh, Jeff Lee got? A super future. A super future at Supercross and uh, in all forms of motorcycle activity that he takes place. Look at the way he just peeped round over his shoulder. See where the opposition was. Number one's there with him, Robert Beetle Bailey. Right there and within striking distance. They don't need any mistakes. Right behind him, Chuck Sun also going like a rocket too. On the red rocket, the red Honda. And Chuck Sun uh, not living up to what we thought he might have done. He might have been further up, but he's not disgracing himself by any means because uh, he's battling there hard and fast with Robin Beetle Bailey. Whilst meantime, a little bit further up the, uh, the ladder of success, as it were, then Marty Motes is just managing to hold away from Jeff Leese from Western Australia. Neil, you've been watching with interest. The race is closing on now. What about it? Top stuff as we watch these two hot contenders, Marty Motes and Jeffrey Leese, battled out for supremacy in the 3XY International Supercross Cup final. And just as we watch our two leaders, Motes and Leese, we can see that third and fourth placings, Beetle Bailey and Chuck Stun, slowly but surely starting to close that gap. There's our third place man, Beetle Bailey, in the yellow and blue colours, just coming up uh, to the 3XY sweeper. And there goes Chuck Sun in the third place now. So Chuck Sun from the States moves into third place, and that leaves the order. Motes, then Leese, then Sun and Bailey. They're the four riders in contention. You can forget the rest. And by gee, there's a lot of stars missing out of that lineup. A lot of people who we would expect to be far higher. Marty Motes on the Honda. Over the double jump. No problems whatsoever through the Marushan chicane. Lining himself back up for the Honda quads. Smooth and calculating rider. A rider who took out United States Grand Prix and completely took all American experts by complete surprise. On the other hand of the, uh, or the other side of the hand, of course, we've got Jeffrey Lee's coup, as Ken quite rightly pointed out, very much the apprentice of this duo. Marty Motes then followed by Jeff Lee's. Chuck Sun starting to close that gap inch by inch on the Honda. And could we have a Honda 1-2? We'll see what happens. In fact, looking at the spread of machinery, we've got Honda in the lead, Yamaha in second place, Honda in third place, then followed by Beetle Bailey in fourth place on the Suzuki. So the four of them virtually a blanket between them now as they line themselves up to complete yet another lap of this incredible Olympic Park Stadium course. Back onto the main straight for the Honda Quads and the crowd coming alive once again between Marty Motes and Jeff Leesk and Leesk into the lead. And what glorious motocross riding as youngster Jeffrey Lee sneaks the Yamaha through. Now he drops back once again and re-challenges up on the outside of Motes. It's handlebar to handlebar. Unbelievable. Jeffrey Lee dominant, takes the lead once again on the YZ250J and opens up a 25-metre lead on Marty Motes. Chuck Sun in third place and Beetle Bailey still there in fourth place. Unbelievable stuff. The two of them, or the four of them, should I say, wind their way through the top of the course. The Yamaha stutters appear as nothing to these top professional riders as they smooth their way through the bumps. Lining up once again for the main straight. Back on towards the Honda quads. And this time it's that big number two. And up go all the Aussies for Jeffrey Lease. Jeff Lees in the lead for the Toshiba Yamaha dealer team. In second place, Marty Motes. A great battle for third and fourth between Chuck, Chuck Sun, should I say, and Beetle Bailey. And as I said before, you can forget the rest. These are the only four guys in the picture at this stage. 20 laps down and five to go. Jeffrey Lees. Can he pull off the biggest event of his life? Marty Moat still in hot pursuit. Chuck Sun starting to close on Marty Moat's in third place. And Beetle Bailey scratching his head saying, how can I get past these flying Americans? We've got an American sandwich at the moment with Australians first and fourth. Moats and Sun right in the middle with their red Hondas. Onto the main straight once again. And with the order being Jeffrey Leesk, Marty Moats, 
then followed by Chuck Sun and Robert Beadle Bailey. It's back once again to Ken Dobson. Thank you, Neil. And well, with the real closing stages coming on now, but only a matter of four laps left to go, it's the youngster from Western Australia who is demolishing the rest of the world as uh, he's leading now the two top Americans, Marty Hoach, of course, and Chuck Sun, who have been doing so very well uh, during this season's activity at Olympic Park, Melbourne. But we can't keep our eyes off him. We continue to say it because he's the superstar of today and no doubts about the superstar of tomorrow in Supercross racing in Australia. He's beating all the top aces. And as uh, Neil mentioned early on, it is surprising for some of them, not going as well. So Chuck Sun now puts on the challenge. Here it comes now. The American uh, Marty Motes dropped back to third place. And uh, this later action now, as we see with only three laps left to go, Chuck Sun has made his last bit of move and now putting the pressure right on the back wheel of uh, Jeff Lees from WA. Keep your eyes on them. They're weaving their way through the field. The riders have lapped once, maybe twice. Chuck Sun has got the old bit between his teeth now as he really puts the pressure onto Jeffrey Lees from WA. Round they go, up over the quads, up over the, uh, the big whoop de doos round the berms, and down over the Honda quad jumps now. Jeff Lees, a slender lead from Chuck Sun. Chuck Sun putting a real super pressure on from Oregon in the USA, a former strawberry picker and now top world-class motocross competitor and young Jeffrey Lee. I don't know what Jeff did, he's too young to have done too much, but he certainly knows all about motocross racing and uh, riding machine number two at 18 years of age. Chuck Sun trying to pass Jeff Leesk in mid-air and he's done it. Chuck Sun and there was a bit of a stall there as Jeff Leesk stalled and so did Chuck Sun. So Sun is in the middle, uh, in the lead rather and now Jeffrey Leesk into second place. The blue flag is coming out. One lap to go. One lap to go as they come out down over the uh, Honda quad jumps down the front straight, Chuck Sun from the USA leading, the yellow flags out, Jeff Lee's not letting it go. He's still got that throttle right round to the stop. Almost the, the wire coming out of the carburetor. He's got it right round to the stop there. And he's got some opposition plus now with Chuck Sun, the dark horse in the race, who didn't look in the early stages as though he was going to do very much about taking this one out. And then a new lease of life halfway through. Half a lap, a quarter of a lap to go now as they come round with Chuck Sun from the USA in the lead from Jeffrey Lee. Lee makes another challenge, a final challenge there on the last corner. Three or four jumps to go as Chuck Sun comes along. It looks like Jeff Lee's stalled almost. Marty Motes is too. So Jeff Lee's back to third on the last 500 yards for leaving it. How's that for a fireworks display? At the end of this magic World Cross Super International Motor Cross Race from the 82 at Olympic Park in Melbourne. Well, what an exciting climax to our program here at Olympic Park tonight, and a fitting climax to what will undoubtedly become a regular sporting attraction here in Australia. I hope you enjoyed tonight's action, and we we'll look forward to bringing you more great action-packed sporting presentations.